Okay, let's begin uh, covering site assessment. Let's do a walkthrough of the very first page of the clipboard for site assessment that deals with ground conditions. So I click on the clipboard icon down here. If you want to make it go away, you can click on it to see more, but clip on the, the clipboard icon to bring up your clipboard. Let's take a look at ground conditions. So what I'm going to do is teleport to my first location, checking on any narrow passageways. And this is what I see. Always check on the eyes. The eyes bring up more info. Click on that. It says a narrow passageway is less than 40 inches and could constrain work. So the idea is we want to examine around the house when we're doing the site survey. Let's look at the choices here. We have are they narrow passageways, yes or no? And what it says in the icon is click on the tape measure icon to bring up the measurement. Well, the tape measure is down here at the bottom, measurement lines or a measurement tool. Click on that and it brings up a measurement. We can tell here in this particular case, it's measuring 32 inches. Uh, that's pretty narrow compared to 40, right? So the idea is we want to make our choice here. We say, are there any narrow passageways? We want to say yes to inform the, the crew of that ahead of time. Let's take a look at the next one. Any dangerous plants? Let's teleport to that. Brings us around to the other location. Specifically, it's looking around any dangerous plants near the main service panel where you're going to put up your electrical. Let's bring up the eye, the information, Dangerous plants near the area where the electrical equipment will be mounted could seriously impede uh, speed and affect safety. And we notice that there is this huge cactus in this particular case right near the electrical panel. So that's not uh, too cool. What we're going to want to do is indicate, therefore, something like uh, any dangerous plants? Yes. Because that could tell the crew, for example, to prepare with a tarp or be prepared with some sort of strategy to protect the plant while working in that area. How about any animals in the yard? Going to teleport? That would be to an observation in the backyard. In this case, we don't see any animals shown, so we're going to say no. Of course, the idea would be that if there are animals, you're going to want to coordinate ahead of time with the homeowner to uh, have them uh, somehow separated from the install crew. Next one would be looking at any locks gates. Let's teleport to that. Take a look here. We can check to see the idea of if we bring up the eye for the information. Any lock gates need to be identified for the install crew to know about coordinating with the homeowner, about making sure they're unlocked. Well, in this case, if I click on the gate, I can check and see that in this case, there are no locks present. So I'm going to indicate here that the uh, any locked gates, I'm going to say no for this particular situation. And then finally, any gas pipes near where the inverter is going to go. I'm going to teleport. And the idea is that if I look around a bit here, I'm going to be given a, a gas meter and you're going to want to keep any electrical equipment away from within three feet radius of the valve of the gas meter. In this particular case, it looks like the dangerous radius for equipment is going to be away from over here where we're going to put in the electrical equipment. So we're in good shape for that. So in that case, any gas pipes near where the inverter would go, you would be able to say no in this case. You want to make sure to let the guys know that if the where they probably are going to do their electrical work, if there's a gas meter nearby, they're going to have to rethink where to put their electrical equipment, and it'd be good to have that done before the job gets started. That's the purpose of site survey. So that's a quick overview, a walkthrough of the kinds of things you're looking for for ground conditions. Hey, thanks for watching the training video using Interplay's simulation-based training program. You can keep watching our solar videos by clicking on the link to your left, or stay up to date on our latest solar snacks by subscribing on your right. To learn more about how the STP provides critical team training and helps you build an onboarding program at your company, please go to interplaylearning.com.